Good morning. Welcome to Online Worship with Tucker Christian Church. I'm glad you've chosen to worship with us today. Before we begin worshiping, I'd like to read something from the book of Lamentations. It, Lamentations is in the Old Testament, and it is a very sad book. It's Part of it just seems like it's moaning and groaning by the people of God or by God's prophet. And it can be very depressing. But right in the middle of all of that, in chapter 3, are these verses, which remind us that no matter how bad things are, we don't have anything to worry about. This is what it says. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Let's worship together. <laughs>
but this is as close we can get right now. But at least we get the opportunity to hear God's word. Uh, I, I miss you. I miss all, all my people. But God's will, it won't be long that we can all get together again. Uh, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for the many blessings of life, Lord. And I, I know we get a little aggravated because we can't get together in, in the Lord's house, but it won't be long. We, we know that, that with you, one day is like a thousand years. So it won't be long till you get it all straightened out for us and, and we'll be able to get back together in, in your house. Lord, I want to pray for the ones that's on our prayer list. I want to pray for Nandra and, and uh, the ones that uh, really need our prayer. Lord, you know, you know who they are. And we just ask now, Lord, that you be with our church and, and just supply our needs. You, you know our needs, and, and we, we would like for you to supply the needs that we, we need. Forgive us when we fail you, Lord, for this is my prayer in Christ. Amen.
Sunday's communion meditation, I said that it was important to know why we observe this communion service. Today, I want us to look at one of the reasons we observe it every week. This was the practice of the early church. In Acts chapter 20, verse 7, the Apostle Paul tells us about his meeting together with the Christians in Troas on the first day of the week, to share in the Lord's Supper. Paul thought this was an important thing to do every first day of the week. When writing to the church in Corinth, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul reminds them that this is an important and sacred event and that they are, to, that they are participating in and that when Paul was in the wilderness being taught by Jesus on what he was expect what was expected of him as he proclaimed the gospel he tells the Corinthians how Jesus informed him what happened as Jesus celebrated his last Passover feast with the disciples Paul let's read what Paul wrote to them in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 through 26 For as I pass on to you what I received from the Lord myself on the night that he was betrayed the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it then he broke it in pieces and said This is my body which is given <clears throat> for you do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed by my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the blessings that you've given us. We thank you, our Father, for your Son who came here to earth uh, to be our sacrifice for us, to make a way that we might spend eternity with you. We just thank you, our Father, as we partake of this loaf and this cup that we might remind ourselves of his death upon the cross and his sacrifice for us. And we pray, our Father, that uh, you would forgive us when we sin against you. For I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our dear, precious, heavenly, generous Father in heaven, we just praise you for all the many blessings that you've given us. 
Father, we know that all the good things that we have came from you. And Father, now as we pray for our offering, I ask that you help us to be generous when we give. Help us to give with a loving spirit. And Father, be with those who make decisions on how our monies will be used. Father, help it all to be used to further your kingdom and to glorify you. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.